In this video, we want to demo the RMS Geo Area Light from RenderMan 20, both RAYS and RIS mode. And here, even though it's a RAYS shader, we're actually using it in RIS mode. There's a bunch of LM shaders. So both that one and the PXR standard area light need to get converted into the 21, the rect light, disk light, etc. So this is RMS Geo Area Light, and we've got the settings on the right here. So we've loaded that scene in 21 here. So if we take a look at it, we've got RMS Geo Area Light. Let's just take the exposure to 5.8, just so it's not default. Color is a bit different. Primary visibility is up here. Later we'll see it's in the advanced section. And of course, it's translated and rotated over here. So we've got all the different values. So if we try a quick render in 21, we hit IPR. So we get that error. doesn't like RMS Geo Area Light. Let's convert all our lights, including that one. So I've hit the uh, script button, and it grays it out brings in the PXR rect light because it looks loops through all these different shapes and depending on what they are it's going to drop down their PXR rect light or a disk light etc etc we keep the name so it was RMS Georia light 1 we just add this PXR rect light to the beginning so we know what the old name is and the new type is and if we look through we've taken our exposure which actually was 5.75 but the old light only had one decimal point so it's actually 5.75 the color is the same, but now uh, under visibility, we have camera visibility. By default, it's off, but we checked it to on because we saw that it was on to here. But more importantly, what does a render do? So let's just kick off a render. And here we can see if we compare it to our old one. It's identical. I'm just looking at the light here, the visibility, the color, everything about it. So that converts our Armist Geo Area Light to RenderMan 21 lights.